your NBC 26 update. I'm Stacey Angabretson. The Tri-County Area School District has identified the kindergartner who was hit and killed while boarding a school bus near Plainfield this week. Officials say a pickup truck went around a stopped school bus that had its lights on and hit six-year-old Mariana Kranz. Her four-year-old sister was also struck and is recovering at home from her injuries. No word yet on whether the 76-year-old pickup truck driver will face charges. The school district says anyone who wants to help the little girl's family can send donations to the Portage County Bank's Plainfield branch. Authorities also releasing the name of the teen killed in a snowmobile crash in Outagamie County. 15-year-old Connor Marks was riding to Seymour High School Wednesday morning when investigators say he failed to stop for a stop sign and was hit by an SUV on County Highway VV. Marks was from Black Creek. Brown County leaders announced naming rights Thursday for the new Brown County Expo Center. The 127,000 square foot facility would be called Resch Expo. Former KI CEO Dick Resch secured the naming rights for $10 million. Leaders say construction of the $93 million project is on time and the building should open next January. Let's get a check on your weather now. Some Arctic air has settled into our area, Cameron. That's right, Stacy. The coldest temperatures in a month and really one of the coldest air masses of the entire season when you take into account what's going to happen later on tonight into tomorrow morning. Right now we've got tons of sunshine out there, but that sunshine is not helping the thermometer at all. 11 degrees. That's it so far for a high in Green Bay today, but it could be worse. Zero in Minneapolis. It's only one in Des Moines. We've got Arctic high pressure moving directly overhead tonight with clear skies, lots of snow on the ground and diminishing winds. Temperatures are going to be dropping down into the teens below zero, but there's probably going to be just enough wind that we could have wind chills maybe in the 20s below zero at times. So it's possible we could have a wind chill advisory issued for parts of northeast Wisconsin. Tomorrow, lots of sunshine once again. High temperatures struggling to hit 10, but it does look like gusty southwest winds will kick in uh, after sunset tomorrow evening and our high temperature tomorrow could actually be closer to midnight as a much bigger warm up moves in for Saturday. For your latest new sports and weather, make sure you download the NBC 26 News app. It's free. It's available in the App Store and on Google Play. Just search for WGBA. Have a great day.